Do whatever makes you happy. Do not set up a list. Do not make people feel like you're wrong or you're doing what you're doing uh, because you're doing it for them. But you're doing it for yourself. So, like, really take the time to just think about, okay, am I doing this for myself or am I doing this for somebody else to do or complete their needs? Just think about that. Hello, what am I doing? Like, girl, get it together. Anyways, um, hello, beautiful people. People, welcome back to my channel, family. If you're new here, my name is Sty. If you're not new here, then welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. Um, before we prolong it in this video, make sure you stop what you're doing and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, so, as I said before, this video will consist of, um, sorry, my hair is frizzy, like a kangaroo. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, no, for real, let's get serious. So, um, this video will consist of a few tips to fight off depression or stress. Let's see. How to reduce how to reduce stress. This video will consist of some tips of how to reduce stress. So, before I get into this video, I do want to give you like a braces update. Um, I know I just posted a video last week of me getting my braces and I have my braces done and here it is a closer look if you want to see it uh I don't know if I like them y'all I like them but I don't like them like my mouth is kind of my lips are swollen still as y'all can see y'all know some different change in my lips I'm kind of talking weird it feel like it and I gotta take slower moments to talk and stuff but <laughs> other than that I think I like them just a little bit I don't know anyways um so yeah i think i like them they just like when i first got them y'all like they hurt my mouth a little bit and my mouth was sore for like four days i couldn't eat for real i was literally like trying to go crazy i want to meet some chicken y'all like i want some like like i was saying i want some freaking fried chicken y'all like i ain't gonna lie my braces and stuff is cool and everything cute but to eat good it's so embarrassing it's so stupid the fact that i cannot sit here and looking at folks eating good and i'll sit here eating raunchy and honestly me having these braces made me feel like i'm on a freaking diet or something like girl get away anyways y'all this really gonna tell y'all something about my hair real quick they just like a rant if you don't like this skip this part but i am natural but i'm trying to go perm so my hair's not doing right any tilts for me because i really need some tilts my hair keep doing too much anyways all right so basically what we're going to talk about today is how to what are some tilts like depression tips and stuff like that so i'm going to help you guys if you why i keep saying depression it's stress get it together okay Anyway, so today we're going to talk about some um, tips about how to reduce stress. I'm going to give you some tips if you reduce to reduce stress, if you feel like you're stressed, if you feel like you just need someone, not someone to talk to, but if you need something to cope with the things that you're going through and you just feel like whatever you're doing now is not helping you, like I'm going to try to help you today and give you some tips so you can become better with this, um, this thing that you're going through, okay? Alright, let's just sit this to the Alright, so tip number one. Okay, so one thing that I found very interesting for me to do if I'm like very stressed or I feel like I'm just disencouraged to do whatever I need to do throughout my day, week, whatever it is. I tend to take some time to like read books and read articles and maybe like do or draw so like reading books can definitely help you with your stress um, level and um, 
it don't matter what type of trail stuff you're on but reading books can definitely help you if you feel like you love reading then read if you like to draw or paint do that uh, I found that very helpful for me because I have some moments where I'm stressed and I let things just overwhelm me and reading books really helps like it just calm your nerves and it just meditates your mind to just focus on that book and that moment and stuff like that that's tip number one tip number two is maybe you can take a walk if you feel like you like outside and you like walking and you like to just be outdoors and that's just like your peace or your safe space then take a walk okay take a walk it's not corny it's not dramatic it's not whatever your friends family thinking they're saying it is it's actually going to help you with your your mind and you know just allowing your body to rejuvenate to get things off your mind and you know reduce some stress so taking a walk i'm i'm a very fan of this um method is taking a walk and just being outside and um you know smelling the fresh air and stuff that really helps me i don't know it just really helps me because i can just see myself um to just calm down when it comes to stress and the things on my mind reduce and i just i don't know i like walks like if you like to walk then walk okay do not let nobody stop you from walking okay but i can't tell you though let me just go back I do not like exercising, okay? I'm not, disclaimer, I'm not telling you to exercise. This is not what this is about. I'm not telling you that you're whatever, fat, obedient, you need to walk. No, but exercising may help you if you like to exercise. However, I do not like to exercise. I personally would rather just take walks or jogs and call it a day. So, work, walking, running, jogging, skipping, hopping, doing cardio rest or doing crunches whatever you want to do when it comes to exercising to do that however walking is my fave and i think it's very calming and relaxing to the body okay all right next tip is if you're well i don't know what i lost count that quick oh my gosh so anyways, if you a spiritual person, um, I'm not on here, disclaimer, I'm not on here to help or um, advertise religions. I'm not on here to force you to be in some type of religion that you're not. I'm not here to tell you that. I'm not here to make you feel like you have a choice of doing um, something that you don't want to do. But if you... If you're a spiritual person, I suggest praying when you're going through stress-related things. Praying is definitely a key factor of reducing stress. Like, if you Christianity, whatever. I personally, I am a Christian. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, so I believe in God and Jesus. If you're not believing in God and Jesus, I'm, I'm praying for you that you know you. Do your own thing, go your own route, and if you feel like you don't want to listen to this, just, just hop off the video, and I'm okay with that. Um, but praying is having a very good thing for me because, um, you know, you just give the things that you're going through to God. You put it in his hand, let him take control, let him do the work, let him figure out whatever. And he knows what you're going through. He knows what you need to do the next steps he knows what you're doing wrong what you shouldn't be doing in that moment or something that can reduce the stress that you're having within yourself so i would suggest that um praying is the number well the next key factor of reducing your stress um i will put that as number one on my list honestly but i'm not gonna put that on there to you know discriminate anybody else's religion or make it seem like you know i'm forcing you guys to be something that you don't want to be so praying definitely helps if you don't know how to pray then um maybe one day i could do a video on that um but praying it really helps just talk to god and let him know what you're going through and just he will help you and guide you in the way and if you need prayer then you can put in the chat in the comments and i will send a prayer out for you um you and your family or whoever else having 
um, disgrace, depression, what depression or whatever you're going through, I will pray for you. All right, next tip. I mean, next tip. I'm sorry. So, so the next thing I would say was like. Next thing I would say to reduce stress is like doing things that you really like to do. Find something that you feel like it will take the ease, the stress, the pain, the distraction of whatever you're going through or you're thinking about off of your plate, off your load, off your shoulders. Like do something that you know will really put a smile on your face or reduce your brain from racing or doing things that you don't want to do or you can't do or you don't have time to do or whatever the case may be okay so for example if you like to go kayaking go to kayaking okay find you a hobby and stick to it and actually do it hobbies are so important guys like i cannot express this enough hobby is so important because it allows you to just be yourself and grow and spend time within yourself and distract you from things you don't need to be worried about. So definitely find your hobby, okay? Find your hobby. You can, like I said, painting, kayaking, uh, skateboarding. Um, you might like to just do cheer. You like to dance. Do whatever you like to do. That's another tip that will really reduce stress off of your um, mind, your body, your soul is doing things that you really enjoy doing okay take the time to take a deep breath in and out when you're doing hobbies before you and after and you'll feel so much better okay all right i think the next the last thing these are like some random tips i might do a part two to this just because i might not feel like this is enough um so next tip i would say is watch or watch movies or listen to music like do some type of entertainment in your that your mind and your ears can see and watch and hear so you can be distracted for the things that stress you out okay so if you feel like those things interest you watching movies and listen to music then absolutely do that like listen to music that you like listen to genres and stuff pick your genre and you you know Put your checklist and playlist together, and you got it. Push you a movie list that you like. Take the time out of your day. Pick it out, maybe an hour, 30 minutes, uh, if you have a busy schedule. And boom, your stress level might decrease, like, from your day or week, whatever, how many, um, the time period of your stress level. Um, actually take the time to actually watch and listen to whatever you watching or listen to music movies um if you want to watch uh different shows you know see for myself i'm just gonna put this out here i actually take the time one day out of week and i watch or maybe twice a week i pick a day and i find shows that's very interesting to me so i watch those shows for an hour because that's the maximum of the show so time my show goes over to two hours I take the time and I stop what I'm doing and I watch the show and I do not do anything else but watch that show or watch that movie. I put my focus on that. I turn my phone off. I, well, maybe silent, not off. I'm not telling you to turn your phone off or just like, you know, try to hide from others. But um, I actually just like put my phone to not disturb and watch these movies or my TV shows that I absolutely love. That is my self care. That's another thing. Self care, that's. That's where I'm going with this. Self-care is definitely going to help you when it comes to stress. Make sure you incorporate self-care in your day, daily life, in your um weeks, months, whatever how you want to do it, okay? I'm not saying you do this every day or go broke, but actually think about it. It don't cost that much to have a self-care day or a self-care moment. You just be in your room just reading. Like I said, that's self-care. It could be anything, guys. Like, anything. It could be anything. If you like to go get your nails done go do that that's my type of thing um if you like to go shopping if you got the money do it go ahead and do it girl I, I mean hey do it i'm not even gonna stop you or guy if you like to do it go ahead boy um uh, <laughs> so just to do th different things like that and make you make your stress level like decrease and you will definitely see a change on all these tips that i said today and if you don't see a change then maybe you need more things you, you have a little more things that you need to add to your um stress reduced level your stress reduced level anyways um so 
I say all that to say that I hope everything goes good. With this, I hope these tips really come handy into your day, your weeks, your months, your life. And if you have any questions, if you want some more suggestions, or you have a tip or suggestion that you would like people to know or to help, then you can comment down below and let us know in the comments. But if not, then we will end this video right here. Just a few tips. Um, I think I lost count, but I will put that count in the title. Um, so anyways let's just get right to the end of this video so before we go make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications uh you don't want to miss no videos that i post you know and you don't want to um be lost when content come out so make sure you like and uh, turn on um, like the video, turn on the notification, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, make sure you stop what you're doing and hit the subscribe button right here, and you won't regret it. Okay, so um, without further ado, if you, have, if you don't have anything else, then um, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, coming here. Um, anybody that's new, welcome. Like I said, if you're back again, welcome back. Alright guys, thank you beautiful people for watching my channel. I hope to see you next video family. Uh, see you later. Bye.